That photo was not an accurate photo of what's going on. It wasn't a fact. It was a feeling that this photo gives us, and social media is trying to give us a feeling, not always the facts. Oh, that's right. My channel was featured on the news twice in the last two weeks, which not only exposed my channel and my brand to millions of new people, but being featured on the news also provides a ton of public relations and social media equity, which helps me to build my company. And I'm going to show you how I did it. Stay tuned for some mind-blowing stuff on Owen Video. Owen Video! You're back! I've missed you. There's been a lot of news coming out in the YouTube and in the social media space lately, and that means a ton of potentially trending topics that creators like you can take advantage of to get attention from your local news. Let's talk about how the local news works. News reporters and station managers first look for relevancy to the events of the day. In other words, the first thing they're looking for are news events happening in your local areas, things that you might see on this page here. But for major news events like war or the economy or politicians, they look for local relevancy to those national events. Here's an example. If President Trump gets a new poodle for the White House, your local news will probably look for a local poodle expert to interview on the news. They may even look for a local business that can speak on poodles, pet care, or even on allergies. Because poodles are hypoallergenic. Knowing this, you can leverage the power of national news media events that may not seem like your area of expertise. For example, take a look at how the Channel 10 News interviewed me about the Syrian missile crisis. From the uprising against the Syrian government in 2011 to the reporting coming out of the war-torn country more recently, social media well, is playing a key role in the Syrian crisis news in general these days. And here to talk about that with us is social media expert Owen Video. And yes, this is his real name, Owen Video. <laughs> it leaves the door wide open not only for, for filtering, but also for bad actors, okay? Let's go back to the Arab Spring in 2010, right? Uh, a Syrian civilian were using Twitter to expose to the world what Assad had been doing to them, and Assad hated that. Mm -hmm. He hated that. He had tried to block Twitter, and we're still seeing some of these uh, Arab nation states blocking social yeah. media sites because they don't want the information to get out. Now, immediately after the missile strikes, Assad used Twitter right. to show a video of himself walking calmly and confidently into a secured location. He says the missile strikes were ineffective. So Twitter, social media, Facebook is being used as a propaganda tool now by the same people that were trying to block it. We don't want to be sharing that content. See, in this case, they wanted a social media expert to comment on the Syrian missile crisis and how social media was reporting the event. When they went looking for a social media expert, guess who they found? Uh, is me. Now, I wouldn't normally consider myself an expert on Middle Eastern policy, but in preparation for the interview, I did a ton of research on the Arab Spring, on the Middle East, and other issues related to social media. That way, when I went on the air, I would crush the interview, and she ended up inviting me back on for a follow-up. As soon as I left the station, I got this text from the station manager. Really liked your social media guy. Great energy and info. He's perfect for TV. <laughs> Nailed it. So how did I get here? Well, it wasn't by accident. I'm going to show you three steps that you can follow to help get your brand featured on the news. Step number one. Create an expert page in your website. Mine is YouTube expert San Diego. Yours might be online gaming expert Boulder, Colorado or real estate expert Cincinnati, Ohio. This is exactly how the Channel 10 News found me for an interview I did earlier this month. Now you probably heard about the tragic shooting at the YouTube headquarters. If you don't know about that event, you can watch this video here. Unfortunately, it turns out that the shooter was from San Diego where I live. So the local news media wanted to find a YouTube expert in San Diego to comment on the situation. And when that reporter went a searching, guess who they found? Also me. So I was able to do an interview and they featured me on the six o'clock news. 
thousands of local YouTube creators now lighter in the wallet. They are calling the new YouTube filtering system Adpocalypse. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about how to get more views. Owen Hemseth runs a local consulting business helping companies and YouTube creators craft their videos. Even in the context of a gun safety channel or even an anti-gun type of channel, that's going to get demonetized. Nothing with the word gun. He says the so-called adpocalypse has impacted thousands in San Diego County. Some had been receiving hundreds or thousands of dollars every month. They've given us no warning. They haven't really told us how to avoid against it. And so we, we're in this no man's land where people that are supporting their families with the money they make from YouTube, and now that money's been taken away from them. Here's a couple of tips to help you build an expert page on your website. And if you don't have a website, you do need one. And I've got a video on how you can create a website for free right here. Number one, don't sell on this page. This is not an opportunity to get new customers. This is for getting on the news or interviewed by a radio station. So make sure that it's more like a bio page and really focuses on what you know. Number two, create a few of these pages. Not only did I create YouTube Expert San Diego, but I've also created Social Media Expert San Diego, Live Stream Expert San Diego, SEO Expert San Diego, Digital Marketing Expert San Diego. This way I can be found for a large number of topics related to the fields I'm an expert in. Here's the next tip. Start covering news related topics on your channel. Make it part of your daily habit to scroll through headlines on websites like Drudge, Huffington Post, or Yahoo.com. YouTube expert Tim Schmoyer agrees. He said, the online video industry is evolving so quickly that I go through over a thousand blog posts, news articles, and headlines every week to stay on top of it. Look for headlines that are directly related to your topics and create a video or do a live stream on those topics. For example, here's an article I found trending on the New York Post. A-Rod's nephew abducted in a Lamborghini purchase gone wrong. What? Now this has nothing to do with me or my channel, but if you have a sports channel or a car channel, this could be a topic that blows up for you. Another huge benefit of covering news related items on your channel is that you might actually get a boost from YouTube by covering a trending topic. When news of the YouTube shooter came out, I made a video right away. That video got 4,000 views in the first 24 hours, which for my channel is huge. And finally, tip number three. This is a big one, guys, so I want you to bring it in. Create a list of all the local news media in your area. Most local newspapers and television news will have their writers and their editors information and email published right on their website or if it's in a newspaper, right on the page. So get in the habit of grabbing local newspapers wherever you go. From the smallest paper you can find, you know the one that reports all the high school wrestling scores and the local like tennis match, to even the bigger publications that cover the county and the state. Go through their editorial section and write down all the names and emails of their reporters. If you can't find them, go to their websites and see if they're published there. Since you're still watching, I wanna give you a power tip. These journalists are overwhelmed with work, so if you can spoon feed them a story that's relevant to their publication, they're gonna love you, and they may come back to you again for future stories. So gather all their information on a Google Sheet or a Microsoft Excel. Then when news strikes or you make your A-Rod video, you can easily and quickly reach out to all of them with a short paragraph or a link to your video that says, hey, I'm ready to be interviewed about this. This may not work every time, but it will work if you work it. You're still watching? All right, then I'm gonna give you another power tip. Do the same thing for local Facebook pages and Twitter accounts. Each time you release a video they might be interested in, make sure you send it to them or post it on their page. I hope you guys are enjoying these tips. Now, what are your thoughts or suggestions for getting featured on the local news? I'd love to hear your ideas in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification for weekly tips on how you can monetize your content and pursue your passion.
just like I have. If you got value from this video, consider sharing it on Twitter or on social media. I love it when you watch to the end. We'll see you next time on Owen Video.